Welcome to RPA Institute and Research Center, New Delhi. In this film, we aim to demonstrate an efficient new technique, saving needle microcapsulotomy to avert Argentinian flag sign during capsular access in patients with intermittent pearly white mature cataracts. The authors have no financial interest in the subject matter of this film. Argentinian flag sign is a well-known complication during capsular access in intermittent white cataracts, which typically arises stantly after an initial prick with a sharp hypodermic needle on a stressed out tense anterior capsule. Till date, it was believed that the raised intraventricular pressure along with forward thrust of the nucleus is solely responsible for propagation of the initial prick into a radial capsular tear. To counter this, several techniques including the small needle aspiration technique had been described to decompress the back but peripheral extension of the capsular tear has still been very frequently seen stantly after picking the capsule with hypodermic needle even before the aspiration of the liquid cortex is initiated. It means there had to be some other factors responsible which assess the raised interlentricular pressure to propagate the spreading of capsule after the initial prick. On extensive clinical evaluation, we came to know that in reality, it's not only the raised interlentricular pressure or forward thrust of the nucleus which causes the extension of the tear. There is one more important factor which is mainly responsible for the extension of the tear is the configuration of the initial prick created on the anterior capsule. Sharp tip hypodermic needle or rexis forceps while puncturing the anterior capsule always create a linear cut configuration with discontinuous open edges along the plane of the needle. Since these forms of cataracts have liquefied hyperhydrated swollen lenticular material with an increased interlenticular pressure relatively makes the anterior capsule tense and stressed out. Tense and stressed out anterior capsule with an optimum interlenticular pressure triggers off a disruptive force along the open edges of the linear cut and help the cut to open up and propagate towards periphery along its margins and split into a complete capsular tear. The disruptive vector forces always act along the axis of the linear cut. That is why the tear always extends radially along the open margins of the cut but never perpendicular to the linear cut. This confirms that it is the linear cut configuration with open edges which has the potential to spontaneously open up and extend to the periphery. Henceforth, we came up with a hypothesis that if we were able to manually create an opening in the anterior capsule which had a round regular configuration like a capsulotomy in two sense, instead of a linear cut we may provide resistance against disruptive forces, thus preventing Argentinian flag sign. Round hole microcapsulotomy with round continuous circular edge without any discontinuity do not tear away with the sudden outburst of interlenticular fluid and disruptive force generated by the high interlenticular pressure. Simultaneous evacuation of liquefied cortical material through the hole decompresses the capsular bag and allows for interlenticular pressure to equilibrate prior to the creation of the capsular axis. To prick the capsule, we developed and designed a novel instrument saving needle microcapsulotom with round pointed tip like a saving needle system. The tip is approximately 0.75 mm in length, 0.60 mm in diameter and which is angled at 90 degrees to the distal shaft. Saving needle microcapsulotom when puncture the anterior capsule create a round hole opening with smooth margins unlike the linear cut produced by the sharp needle. In most of the cases, single microcapsulotomy is sufficient to decompress the back but in some cases, multiple microcapsulotomies are required to evacuate the multiple fluid pockets in the lens. To achieve successful microcapsulotomy, 
After routine incisions, the entire capsule is stained with 0.06% trypan blue dye to enhance the visibility. Ophthalmic viscosurgical device is injected to maintain the deep anterior chamber with appropriate pressure. Using the main or side port corneal incision, the saving needle microcapsulotome is inserted into the anterior chamber. Tip of the needle is placed vertically over the center of the anterior capsule. Under direct visualization, tip is then moved downwards to penetrate through the taut anterior capsule. The round pointed tip of the saving needle microcapsulotome creates a round opening with smooth margins at the center of the anterior capsule. Pressurized interlenticular fluid gushes out as a volcanic eruption through the hole, which decreases the interlenticular pressure and helps in decompression of the capsular bag. Complete evacuation of interlenticular fluid, including the posterior compartment fluid, is achieved by tapping and pressing the anterior capsule posteriorly with the help of an air cannula. Once the capsular bag decompression is complete, anterior chamber is reformed with the help of cohesive visco to pressurize and flatten the anterior capsule. An intended 5 to 5.5 mm of capsular axis is initiated after tearing the central hole using a rexis forceps and easily completed without the risk of peripheral extension of the capsular tear. To conclude, saving needle microcapsulotomy with circular round hole puncture of the anterior capsule along with pressure decompression is the simplest of technique which enables us to successfully prevent Argentinian flag sign with very little effort and much easier surgical maneuvers. Saving needle microcapsulotomy, a simple yet highly effective novel tool, is an ideal device to open up the tense anterior capsule to adequately decompress the back prior to the initiation of the capsular axis. Thank you for being with Saving Needle Microcapsulotomy, new technique to prevent Argentinian flag sign and intermissent mature white cataracts.